Hello and welcome to the daily newscast within the United Country special by First Ukraine. You can find us at the frequencies available at our website, firsta.com. Alain Sarenka is working for you in the studio. Thank you for joining us. 25 attacks per day, most Lugansk area. This report, the press officer staff Anatoly Stelmak from the fighting line, where launched an attack Shastya Stareidar, Stanishna Luhanska, Verkhnya, Tanizhnya Vilkhova. Terrorists also attacked the Baltsva area. Make attempts to break through enemy position and to the Baltsva direction. During the night, the enemy actually nine times with all weapon attacked the Ukrainian position. From 22 to about 3 a.m. in the area of Baltsva, there was a battle in which infantry units using terrorists tried to capture our position. For the past day, 80 of forces eliminated 18 terrorists, 55 injured, the press officer staff Anatoly Stelmak reported. As a result of military operation of the Debaltseva Supreme Board, Russian terrorist troops ensured heavy losses, including temporary casualties. All medical facilities are overflowing in Chervoni Luch and Antracid, where wounded terrorists are being delivered. In Snizhne, where the majority of heavy wounded in German have been transported, we observe a lack of medication and acute shortage of medical equipment and supplies. In Donetsk, Mok have stopped taking on civilians due to lack of room. Near Papasna, the enemy attempt to continue the absence and attack one of the Ukrainian checkpoints using several armed vehicles. The attack was rappelled. Injured losses including one BMP-2 armed personal carrier and one motor vehicle. The enemy fell back to their original lines. An armed group of Russian terrorist troops were reported arriving in Donetsk near Kievsky Avenue. The personnel of the group are Russian military servicemen of non-Slavic appearance. Forced evacuation of civilians had taken place in the area earlier. We already have reports of marauding acts committed by the newly arrived Russian military servicemen. Russian tanks locals will see in Donetsk people is shooting as tanks ride through the city streets and this economy of Russian technology is moving toward Ukrainian border to the Rostov region. Peace fighting between the Ukrainian armed forces and Russian-backed militants continued in the area of Debalseva. Militants are trying to encircle Ukrainian military requirements to no avail. Debalseva remains under thin control of Ukrainian troops despite constant shelling, said Colonel Andrei Lysenko, ATO spokesman, at a briefing at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Russian proxies shelled an attempt to storm block posts and fortification near Shumy, Sanjarivka Komuna, Ritkadub, Stanitsa Luhansk, and Chornehutne. All militants' attacks were rappelled. Russian-backed mercenaries tried to assist the Ukrainian block post near Fashivka. Ukrainian servicemen opened fire and forced the enemy to retreat. Five Ukrainian servicemen were killed and 27 got wounded in the last 42 hours, noted ITO spokesman. Nurse communications office and surgeons, it was reported by the general staff and the women who were taken into the army, first take those military professions and volunteers, said the Speaker of War Department, Vladislav Selizhnyov. Just do not serve mothers who have small children. During mobilization can be called military women of this age for officers aged 20 to 50 years, for other military women from 20 to 40 years. Called during mobilization may be subject military women have first expressed a desire to resemble military service. Ukrainian government still evacuate inhabitants from dangerous areas that are under fire of pro-Russian separatists. It was said by Prime Minister of Ukraine, Arseniy Yatsenyuk, in general during last days, we evacuated more than 205,000 of people, including more than 600 children and 60 old people who cannot move on their own. Most of them are disabled persons. Ukrainian government still evacuate inhabitants from dangerous area that under fire of pro-Russian separatists. It was said by Prime Minister of Ukraine Arseniy Yatsenyuk. In general, during last days, we evacuated more than 200 and 500 of people, including more than 600 children and 60 old people who cannot move of their own. Most of them disabled person. Also, he said that from 1 to 1st March, Russian citizens will not be allowed to move through Ukraine border with eternal passport of the Russian Federation. They need foreign passports. 
Main problem is that Russian terrorists attack civilian buses. Just now we sent to anti-terrorist area to the Baltsova and Avdeevka two armored cross trucks. They are completely armored for the passengers and for drivers. Every cross can carry on 20 people of minimum. If they stand closer, it can transport 30. That is how we defend our people from shelling, from shell fragments and from attacks of Russian terrorists. All cars were painted into white color with red crosses. I want to address the representatives of international organizations in a first turn to OSC and to Russia, which control its terrorists. Stop shell on peaceful citizens. We will defend by armor the people who need to be transported, but stop firing at the peaceful people. It is a crime against humanity, and Russia and Russian terrorists will answer for these crimes in Hague too. I hope that today until night these two cars will arrive to the area of evacuation and we will renew the evacuation of civil inhabitants, children, disabled people from the Baltsova, Avdeevka and the areas that permanently remain under shelling of terrorists. About Russia, I want to remind that yesterday the cabinet approved decision about cutting agreement between Russia and Ukraine about movement across the border. We stopped two posts. Now, Russian citizens can remain in the territory of Ukraine exceptionally with foreign passports or other documents that mentioned in agreement. From 1st of March, Russians will not be able to get into Ukraine with passports of Russia. The Rada Ukrainian Parliament voted for creation of joint Ukrainian-Polish-Lithuanian military brigade. Members of Parliament ratified agreement between governments. 545 soldiers will represent Ukrainian side. It was said by Vice Minister of Armed Forces of Ukraine, Petro Mehed. Poland will departure 3,500 soldiers, Lithuania 350. Agreement was signed in March previous year. Polish and Lithuanian parliaments are prepared to ratify in future time. Seven people have reportedly been killed and 12 injured in a metro train accident in New York. The accident happened on the Metro North Harlem Line. Railroad spokesman Aaron Donovan says in the North Bolt train stuck a Jeep Cherokee at a railroad crossing in Valhalla on Tuesday evening. Five of those were killed in the train and one was driver of the car. The vehicle and the front of the train reportedly caught fire in the collision. Obviously, today was a day we never want to deal with, and it's a day that is an absolute tragedy. Uh, to see what I saw in that front train is something that I will never forget. Uh, it was completely charred and burned. Inhabitants of Mariupol asking to stop Russian aggression in the east of Ukraine. They told it in the video which was recorded by Azovnet Mariupol Information Portal. The representatives addressed to the world's leaders and any non indifferent people. We declare that we are being killed. We are being killed for every day in the bus stops, buses, shops, kindergartens, schools, houses and flats. We are being killed even we are come to cemeteries and bid farewell with the people who were killed before. We declare that we are being killed by the professional Russian army and mercenary terrorists of so-called People's Republic. Mercenary terrorists are not covering that they are the soldiers of the neighborhood country and that they came to release us and to create illusion a Russian world. Shelling on regular bus in Volnovakha and as a result death of 12 and injury of 18 usual people. Shelling on trolley bus in Donetsk and as a result death of 8 and injury of 13 peaceful people. Recent shelling on Mariupol and as a result death of 31 peaceful people and injury of more than 100. There are links of one chain, chain of crimes against humanity. We declare, Mr. President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin, stop, stop killing us. It is worthless thing for you and everything for us.
We didn't ask or not asking now for support of Russia. Moreover, when your humanitarian convoy arrives in the morning, it is certainly have the influence on frequency of shelling in the evening. In particular, it's your terrorist attack in 24 September neighborhood Unity Eastern in Mariupol. There is no strategic objects. There, in the Russian press, you will show that Ukrainian fascists are killed peaceful Russian-speaking inhabitants. But all world know that aggressor is you. You have done a great evil not only to Ukraine but also to Russia. You burned the bridges too skillfully not, not to able to do the worst enemy in the world. Now your occupants, who is guilty to death for the innocent people, our cities and villages are under shelling. We address to the General Secretary of UN, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, to OSC Chairman in Office, Ivica Dacis, to the President of PACE, Mr. Anne Persu, to the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Kaltenberg, to the president of the USA, Barack Obama. Every day people are suffering. Buildings are being destroyed. Children are dying. How much blood have we spilled to stop the aggressor? We address to the people of Ukraine, Russia, and all the world. Only a huge number of people who support Ukraine, which is burning because of the Russian aggression, can stop Third World War. There is no Ukraine without Donbass, there is no Europe without Ukraine, and there is no world without Europe. It is not politics anymore. It is a question of life and death of thousands of people. It was the United Country news cast by First Ukraine. You can find more details at our website, firstua.com. Alain Sarenko was working for you in the studio. We wish you only good news. Take care and goodbye.